Hi traders, today's video is all about for testing your trading strategy. And I'm going to go through the following topics and they are why should you forward test, demo a live trading, trading plan, we'll go through an example, and realistic expectations. Now forward testing your trading strategy is essential to your trading success as it will give you the true performance data that you need to optimize your trading strategy. So stay with me to the end as I walk you through the key elements to forward testing and having realistic expectations to your trading results. Introducing myself, my name is Duncan Cooper, I'm a full-time trader and the Senior Market Strategist and Trading Mentor at ACY Securities. Okay, let's get into the first topic. Okay, so why should we forward test? Back testing will give you an indication as to whether your trading strategy is profitable. However, forward testing using live data is the best way to get a true accurate assessment of your trading strategy. So I recommend forward testing rather than just back testing. Okay, so when forward testing, should we be demo or live trading? Now demo trading takes away all the emotion of forward testing as you have nothing at risk. However, live trading adds the fear and risk of trading into the process. If you want to forward test using real money, trade a micro or mini lot size. This will make the trading process real, but you won't be risking too much money per trade. For myself, I like to forward test using real money because it makes the trading process and outcomes real. Okay traders, so when forward testing, make sure you've got a trading plan and you should follow a strict trading plan so that all your trades are taken using the same entry rules, trade management rules, and exit rules. That way, when you review the outcome of your trades, you know you're reviewing the exact same criteria for each trade setup, and it will be easier to identify areas for improvement. I traded, so this is an example of a forward test that I've done. Uh, I do these all the time if I'm looking at a new strategy, and this one I did uh, way back in 2011, but it's a good example to review. So I like to log my results on a spreadsheet, and if you like the spreadsheet, just send me an email to the email on the screen, and I'll let you have a blank copy. So I log the date and the pair, the entry price, what session I took the trade in, what time frame, the trade was taken on here a 15 minute chart was I long or short uh, how many pips I target what my stop loss was the risk reward for the trade because I like to have a risk reward of at least one to two the result win loss or break even I put a one in the column for a win or a loss or a break even how many pips was I up before the trade run back to a break-even perspective. So you'll see that a number of trades here were break-even and I was up a number of pips, but the result for the trade was zero. So I like to log that as well. And then the spreadsheet itself will calculate the percentage gain for the trade, the dollar gain, and it's all calculated on the starting value and the value on the balance of your account at the time you in putting the data into your spreadsheet. So what I like to do is do it in sets of 20 and you'll see if I scroll down here that it's 20, there's 40, 60, 80, I've actually logged 100 trades on the spreadsheet. So there's five sets of 20. So I like to look at the results of my trading over a series of 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100 trades, ideally, but look at my overall profitability as a set of 20. So what you'll find is if you log your trading results that you're gonna get a random set of results per 20, but over time, they'll even out and be rather similar in each 20, but the results come in a random distribution order. Okay, so, the data on the right hand side here, it shows you how many days the test was for, 101 days. It will show you the gain for that period in dollar amount and the percentage gain. And then it starts to calculate a 12 month average 
okay, through there. And this important information here it tells me that I've done 100 trades. I only had 26 wins, 35 losses, and 39 break evens. So testing over 100, I had more losses than wins, but by doing the test and forward testing on, in the live environment, I can see that even though I only had 26 wins, more losses, that the strategy is more than profitable. But if you don't do that test and acquire the data, once you have a few losing trades, you might think that, okay, this strategy doesn't work. But this strategy has a few more losses than wins, but overall, it's more than profitable. I mean, if you traded for 101 days and you had an 18% gain, that's just over three months, you'd be happy with that. But would you be happy with only having 26 wins, 35 losses, and 39 break-even trades? So by forward testing, and collecting the data and putting it in a spreadsheet, it gives you a true representation of your overall profitability for the trading strategy that you're trading. And you can't just look at your trading strategy just over four or five trades. You have to look at your results over a set of 20 trades, and then over a set of 20, 40, 60, or more trades. All right, so that's how I like to forward test it's a lot of time and effort, but it's well worth the effort if it's going to improve your overall profitability and your confidence to trade. All right, traders, so it's essentially you've got realistic expectations of your trading strategy. So forward test your trading strategy over 20, 40, 60 or more trades. You will then have true realistic expectations of your trading strategy. You will know how many wins, losses and break-even trades your trading strategy delivers over a series of trades and the expected return. As well, by reviewing the trades, you will find ways of improving your overall profitability for the long term. When you have proved to yourself that your trading strategy works in a live forward test, you can then have the confidence to trade using a larger lot size. Okay traders, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Now if you're interested in improving your trading, why not join me in my free beginner webinar series? You can register by using the link in the description below. All those that attend the webinars get full access to my own MT4 chart layouts and indicators. Okay traders, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.